Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will be speaking together how to apply for visa for Finland. And as always, we will be speaking about all the details, starting with the visa policy of uh, Finland. And after that, we will move to how to fill the application form uh, and all the process for uh, the application and in the end we will be speaking about all the documents that you will need while applying for this visa but before we start don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question please write it below in the comment section and i will respond to you back in 24 hours first let's explain together the visa policy map of the Schengen area as a country of today is a part of the Schengen area so if you are a holder of a passport belong to any country of the Schengen area if or if you are a holder of a visa of any country in the Schengen area you have a free access to any country inside the uh, Schengen uh, area uh, and also there are some countries who can get access to Schengen area without visa for example countries of uh, all the countries of North America Austria United Arab Emirates Japan uh, Korea Malaysia and uh, many countries uh, in South America all these countries can get uh, into the Schengen area and stay there for uh, 90 days for the rest of the world speaking about all african countries and almost all uh, asian countries all these countries must obtain visa before traveling to the schengen area and some of these countries like iran iraq uh, ethiopia somalia pakistan you will need both visas for traveling to, uh, to the schengen area or even transiting inside the schengen area so basically this is the official application form site where you will have to fill your application finlandvisa.fi any country if you are applying from any country from any place you have to fill the application from this site first you'll have to select the language click create an account and here write your email address write a password and you have to write a strong password then okay it has to have 14 characters okay okay let's add more account for travel agency uh no i have read and agreed in terms and conditions okay register account okay they just sent me a confirmation email here okay i have to click here and confirm register and my account is registered right now we will have to sign in here your email your password sign in and this is the application in front of us this is the, the guide okay so i would like to start a new application click start a new application and okay there's an application guide here like they tell you all the details what to fill family name surname date of birth blah 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 you can read it but we will go through it step by step there are different steps like uh, personal details travel documents occupation and residence journey details contact uh, and accommodation application documents and finalize application so let's start filling the application together this part surname okay everything every start bar, every every part with a star it means it's obligatory okay first given name date of birth okay there one there one dot day month and year there one dot for example place of birth country of birth let's say and i'm applying from indonesia a new country 
Indonesia. Uh, current nationality, Indonesia. Nationality at birth, Indonesia. Other nationalities, no, no, no other nationalities. Uh, if different, okay. It's the same. I shouldn't have filled it, but it's okay. Male, single. ID number, if it exists, please write it. If not, okay. Abikan's family member is an European, no. Uh, okay, proceed to travel documents. Type of travel document, ordinary passport, number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, date of issue, let's say 01.01.2020. .01 Valid until 01.01.2027, for example. You should buy country Indonesia. Okay. Proceed to occupation and residence. Okay. Home, address, postal code, not mandatory, city, country Indonesia. Email address, uh, okay. Phone number is mandatory. Uh, 00912345678. Okay. Write your phone number. Residence in a country. After that, the country, no. Current occupation, okay. Just choose your occupation. And then the details of your employer. City, country. Any country in the or oh, Indonesia? Okay. Oh, it's the phone number. Zero zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay. Proceed to journey details. Oh, there's something here. Yes. Reasons in the country other than I said no. Okay, proceed. Journey and details for tourism. Purpose of the journey, no. Member state of main destination, uh, Finland. Finland. Number of entries required, one. Intended date of arrival of the first intended stay in the Schengen. Intended date of arrival of the first Okay, I would like to go at April 2022. Date of departure, I would like to go at to leave at May 2022. Collected previously, I will say no. Uh, entry permit for the final country were applicable? No, not applicable because I'm just going to Finland. I'm aligned for, to, for Finland. Okay, contacts and accommodations. Applicants contacts in the Schengen area. I have accommodation details about the hotel, the name of the hotel, the postal code, the city, not important. Okay, the most important thing is the name of the hotel, but it's good to fill all these parts. Okay, cost of traveling, living during the applicant's stay is covered by the applicant himself, cash and credit card and then proceed to application document. Select the country where you submit your visa application. Okay, Indonesia. I'm blank Indonesia. Okay, instructions. Checklist, select the checklist of required documents based on the main purpose. Okay, I will need tourism, sport. Okay, for tourism, this is a check. Uh, okay, select this checklist if you're traveling to Finland for the following purpose. Okay, tourism. Okay, checklist. Oh, I'm not understanding this part. Oh, yeah, okay. What are the checklist? Oh, uh, first thing, visa application form with a photograph, okay. A travel document, my passport, okay. Travel medical insurance, okay. Uh, documents confirming the purpose of journey, proof of iter uh, itinerary, transport reservation, proof of accommodation, invitation letter, proof of participation, uh, no, no, not invitation letter. Okay. 
document for medical reasons no okay so I have itinerary transport reservation and proof of accommodation because I'm going for tourism there is no event there is no medical okay uh, documents confirming applica applicants uh, circumstances okay I will give a, a copy of my national ID proof of employment okay proof of financial means okay document of third country citizen other additional documents okay civil status document okay not required uh, I don't have any for other documents added as visa application request of uh, visa recover is added center if needed no other submission documents okay no proceed to finalize application so I just checked all the application needed as uh, the application documents needed okay this I'm now finalizing I'm just reviewing every part you can return and edit anything you would like to edit check every single part every single part if you like to edit anything you can just go to the very section and edit it good 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 and now I would like to you can save a change and finalize later or you can finalize it now finalize application finalized application cannot be changed or modified are you sure you want to finalize your visa application I will click yes and now I will have to print my application I click here and 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 loading 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 tada this is my application for Finland all right this is my application you now will have to print this application and after printing this application you are ready to submit it along with other required documents and let's see where then how so right after filling your application you're ready to submit it and vfs global office is the office responsible of submitting reviewing all your documents and submitting it to the finnish uh, embassy so uh, you can apply from any country algeria belarus egypt ethiopia india indonesia iran uh, ireland kenya and if you are applying from pakistan you can submit it directly to the finnish embassy in pakistan so now since i choose indonesia we'll click indonesia take me to the website and here we will review again all the details i will click start now after clicking start now okay i already identified my visa it is a tourist visa i already began my application now i need to book an appointment i will click here book an appointment it, it take me to this site uh, where i have to create an account on vfs global and choose an appointment uh, in the office then i will have to go and visit the visa application center and in the visa application center i will pay my fees okay visa application fee and after paying my visa application fee which will be equal to 80 uh, euros you will pay two things with the visa application fees and also the service fee you will be able to track your application and by tracking your application if your application is accepted you will be ready to collect your passport with the visa and you will be ready to travel to uh, Finland if you would like to have more information about uh, the visa fees depending in your country you can choose a visa type here and the visa fee will be written here this is in the Indonesian rubies equals to 80 euros if you are applying from Egypt you will see the same price okay they're even writing uh, the prices over here okay for the citizens of such uh, countries they have uh, special uh, payment and uh, you can also check the processing time here because the processing time of any Schengen visa is supposed to be done within 15 calendar uh, days so you shall know when to apply 
and uh, now we will move to the documents that you will need while applying for the visa for Finland. Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years, with at least 6 months of remaining validity, and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. Number two, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored, must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated. Number three, you will need personal pictures. For the personal picture, you will need two pictures, not older than six months, clear, shows full face, with white background, and shows neutral expressions, no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons. Number four, you will need visa application forms. For the visa application form, it could be an online form, filled online, printed, then signed. It could be also a PDF form, filled on computer, printed, then signed. And also, it could be a hand-filled form, printed, then filled, then signed. Its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number five, you will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. 
the insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.